Danish boy here, and uh, well, welcome to Denmark, obviously. So this is pretty damn cool. I've been invited to this event over here in Denmark by uh, my good friend, Lasse Sorensen, so thank you Lasse for the invite, uh, called Dream Concept, and basically it's a day full of very lovely cars that I can't afford. <laughs> So from what I can tell, this event is just essentially a place people with more money than me come to drive really fast cars, and uh, somehow I found myself along on the guest list. Hi Lassa, um, tell us a bit about Dream Concept then, because I've kind of come along a bit blind, uh, but you can tell me a bit more about it. Yeah, Dream Concept is an event company, they usually run uh, track events mm -hmm. for, for random people and coming from the road. Um, this event here is an um, event for, there's a lot of big car brands coming and then people are invited to come here uh, to try out different cars like Ferrari and Mercedes and everything. And then there's uh, two tracks here, a high speed track and uh, one where, with a lot of corners. Um, and then it's, it's just all about having fun here in different cars like racing cars and, and also uh, normal street cars. Behind you, rather special looking Audi, tell us about it. Yeah, it's the Audi TCR car, the ones that are driving the, the World TCR Cup. Um, this is the Audi with the 360 horsepower and the front wheel drive. And that's, that's how TCR is. And some people like it, some people don't. Um, but it's actually quite a cool car and it's, it's driving really good. There's a lot of, of, of special things about it because the, the handling of the car is so special compared to, to many other cars. It's not like a GT car, but it's pretty similar in, in corner speed as well. So. Will be a fun car for Jimmy. So that's it. I've never really driven a front wheel drive car, or a fast front wheel drive car before. Um, what shall I be looking out for when driving this? There's some few points you need to take care of. Uh, of course, when when you have front wheel drive, the rear is quite light. Mm -hmm. um, um, when when the rear is light, you it will be a bit snappy sometimes. Yeah. So that's something. It's mainly into hairpins. So you really need to take care of this. Um, if you get a slide, make sure just to go full throttle. <laughs> and it will automatically uh, get you on the right way again. Also, the brakings. Uh, you you can go hard on the brake just on one, once you hit the the brake mark. Okay. Uh, then you have to go a bit off again because otherwise the rear will start to lock because you know the rear will get light. And then you have to be soft on the steering. You know the front wheels are also the ones that are they're both gonna control where you're going. And also getting you forward at the same okay, time. Okay, so basically just being easy. Basically just being very easy on it. Yeah, being easy on the throttle because if you go too hard on the throttle, you start to push you away. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, so, so try to manage it so you don't slide and understeer. But you know, at the same time you're steering, you're also awesome. getting forward. Well, hopefully I won't spin. You have to give me something if you spin. Ooh. Ice cream. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought it was be one of those videos for a minute. <laughs> As you heard um, from NASA, probably one of the highlights of my time here is that I'm going to get to drive a Audi TCR car, which is kind of appropriate seeing that it was kind of just announced in iRacing, but I am pretty damn excited and of course nervous. Um, but I think there's a lot of day to get through before we get to that part, so uh, I'm going to try and enjoy it the best I can. So this in front of me is the start, I think, of the handling circuit or the circuit with corners on as Lassa called it and it's where I'll be driving the TCR car a bit later on. Um, it just looks like well, a temporary circuit made up with uh, those little plastic bollard things out there and uh, I think this is the last corner down here but of course there's also some concrete there so I'm really hoping I don't end up in that when I'm driving around. Okay so basically the uh, the event is kind of split up into two tracks. There is the handling track which you've probably seen so far with the cars going around and the high speed track which we're about to go and check out now. So basically this is where all the people who buy the 200 plus mile an hour supercars can actually go 200 plus mile an hour if they're feeling brave. <laughs> Here is the car that I should be driving a bit later. So, um, you join me inside the TCR car, it's going to happen a bit quickly. Um, we're going to go out very quickly now just so I can learn the track and we're going to go out with Lasse who's just getting in at the moment and we're going to just go out, cruise around uh, so no, nothing too
to uh, big in terms of safety and just try and learn the circuit and then after the uh, after lunch and after the, uh, the learning of the track we're going to put all the cameras up and try and have a proper attempt at it. So there I was about to pull onto the circuit for the first time in a front wheel drive racing car, a TCR car no less. Now the thing that I was trying to get across in the last clip but ended up mumbling about quite badly, I was quite nervous, I'm sure you can understand, is that the reason why I wasn't wearing a helmet is because the goal of this drive was to literally cruise around at low speed and just get a feel for the car and get an idea for the track. However, I ended up getting a little bit carried away. Yeah, so just take it easy on the braking zone, so, so especially in the last turn because yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna go fast, but I'm gonna do this stuff. Yeah, just cruise around, see the track, and then. Uh, so is it automatic or have I got to do this? You can start with automatic, or you want to pedal. I'll have it on the paddle, I guess. Okay, but now, yeah. uh, now it's shown a pedal. Just, just tell everyone what you just told me there about that little run. Yeah, I know you really want to hear it, <laughs> but to be fairly honest, it was quite impressive. I mean, uh, Jimmy is a, a fast boy on a real racing track as well. I was uh, sitting beside him without seatbelts on, so I was, a bit, <laughs> I was a bit scared because he was he was on the limit, um, and he told me he was just going to go for a cruise. So yeah, now, now I, know, I don't want to race him uh, because if this was cruising, I don't know what the, the fast thing is. Right, so first drive in the um, TCR car done, and uh, my word, it's so much more raw and more brutal than the McLaren was. It's not quite as fast in a straight line, but it's still pretty damn quick. As last I said, I think it's about 350, 360 horsepower to the front wheels, but you wouldn't know it's front wheel drive unless you start really pushing it through some of the corners. It's really very, uh, very grippy and very fun. I didn't quite get up to full speed because it's only really meant to be a practice run and NASA next to me was on, he had no seat belts on, <laughs> so I couldn't really go much faster than I was going. But I'm hoping that after lunch we can uh, really go out there, get all the cameras set up properly and have a proper run at it and just, well, see how it goes. So Lassa is about to go out in the TCR car to warm the tyre, so I'm playing Marshall. There you go.
as you can see, and probably not here, I was having an absolutely awesome time ragging this Audi TCR car around this little test track. But as time went on, I started to realize that the gear shifts were getting a little bit slower and they weren't really engaging when I wanted them to. So, as you can probably imagine, I was pretty anxious after driving back into the pit lane. I had convinced myself that I had broken this very expensive, very pretty Audi TCR race car. Initially, that's a thought it may have been that I had blended the throttle and brake a bit too violently, though I was being very sure not to do that. It's kind of very hard to keep tabs on that when you're concentrating on so many other things. So to see if the car was okay and if it was just something that was a little maybe a, a limp mode or a safety mode the car had gone into, him and Daniel went out on the track to see if they could try and diagnose it. Right. Uh, seems like it is, it's probably clutch, but I don't see how you can do anything wrong because, you know, when they start in these cars, even with the DSD gearbox, they preload it when they start like this, you just use the handbrake. So even if you were to, to uh, hold the, the foot on the brake, it wouldn't make a difference, in my opinion. But I think what we'll do now is, first of all, let it cool down, then uh, try to check out the data, see if there's any, uh, or anything, then yeah, we can't do it anymore. But it, it does change up really slow. Yes, I, yeah, it, it's like you know, if you just let the clutch burn on a, yeah, on a road car. Like So unfortunately that little issue meant no more driving on that day with the TCR car and despite being assured that it wasn't my fault, in fact the car has actually had a similar issue reported at a previous event, I couldn't help but think that everything was just somehow my fault. But luckily on the next day of the event we came back and the Audi was pretty much back in full working order. And after watching back some of the footage that I captured from the previous day, Lassa offered to take me out in the car with him driving to show where I could kind of improve in braking and cornering speed and just give me an idea what it was actually like to attack a course in a front wheel drive touring car.
this might sound a little bit stupid, but what I learned from NASA is that I could go faster pretty much everywhere. It was just a case of having a lot more confidence in the car. I could brake later, I could carry more speed into the slow corners and into the fast corners. Getting used to the grip a slick tyre has is kind of more difficult than you think it is. Your body is saying when you're turning in, no, this can't possibly stick, but it does, and usually you're quite away under the limit. But with the lessons from NASA in my mind, I was determined to go out and really make the most of my final session. Unfortunately, day two ended very much the same way as day one with a mechanical issue, meaning the gears weren't really shifting properly. I'm still not really sure what the problem actually was. It may have been a lingering clutch issue. It may have been that I was shifting a little bit too high, a bit too aggressively. It may also have been that I was wall spinning a little bit coming out of the slow corners and uh, had overheated something. Of course, it was a shame that it cut my drive short, but the laps I had out there felt really very fun indeed. And uh, I'm hoping one day I'll get another chance to drive this awesome machine again. So Lassa, um, obviously not ideal. What 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 happened with the with the car? Was it my fault, firstly? It's your fault. Yeah. Ah no. <laughs> no, it's not. I think it's an electrical problem with the with the gearbox, and um, I think we just got to cool down the engine now, and then we will go for some left again. Okay. Um, but 
it's something we can fix on the workshop. Uh, and not, not really. The most important is, is that you get some left now. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a huge problem. So. Okay, cool. Not my fault. Ah. So uh, it does seem like it is uh, a clutch issue of some sort. Um, I've been I've been assured that it wasn't my fault and that uh, it was uh, something that was actually happening on the car before it came here. But it seems to have got worse as time has gone on. It's been driven more. So it looks like that's my last run out in the TCR car. But uh, my word, what an experience. I think I'm probably going to finish off this video uh, when I'm at home so I can kind of gather my thoughts a bit and put them into something that's actually, uh, well, that makes sense, I guess. Um, but what a, what a ride, what a fantastic experience. But anyway, my rather windy time in Denmark is coming to an end. Um, what can I say? You know, it's been a really fantastic experience. I didn't get to drive as many road cars as I thought um, I was going to, but that doesn't really matter to be honest, because the whole experience for me was just dominated by getting to drive this TCR car in anger. To hear Lassa be, uh, I think, fairly complimentary of of my driving for me, that's really that's really important because, of course, I'm a sim racer. It's, it's a dream to be able to do it in real life. So to hear that I'm not terrible is. Uh, it's, uh, it's really nice, it uh, puts a smile on my face. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't quite as structured as maybe uh, the McLaren videos that I did previously. That was with a cameraman. I did this pretty much all on my own, which isn't ideal because I'm not a cameraman. I'm just a guy who shouts at a camera. So trying to get things sorted out was quite difficult for the most part. But I think we got quite a lot of decent footage from inside the Audi, which is which is good and hopefully is uh, something you guys enjoy. But before I end up this video, I've got to say a massive, proper thank you to Lasse Sorensen. Uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. He invited me to this earlier on in the year and I thought, nah, it won't happen. And yet here I was, you know, driving these awesome cars and getting to be around so many other beautiful machines. It's, it's, a, it's an enthusiastic dream and I'm very grateful. But yeah, guys, that was it. That was my experience in Denmark driving a TCR car and sitting here now at home saying that into the microphone, it never really feels normal i feel incredibly fortunate to be in the opportunity now where i get invited to these events and get to drive cars that i never thought i'd ever have the opportunity to even go near it's uh it makes me feel very happy indeed and uh it always puts a massive smile on my face saying it out loud and again i am eternally thankful to to lassa and to dream concept for making it all happen i really hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as i enjoyed making it if you did of course like it make sure to hit the like button if you really enjoyed it hit subscribe and the bell notification icon to be made aware of future videos like this and future streams and between you and me i really hope these opportunities keep presenting themselves because i have a driving bug sim racing is fantastic it's a substitute but you cannot replace the real thing the adrenaline the sound the smell the g-force it's uh something that i find myself quite addicted to and hopefully i can do more in the future take care have an awesome day see you all next time racing and mini i think we're gaining as well a little bit yeah <laughs>